Hi. Today we're going to have a look how to manage and handle configuration variables like usernames, passwords, and other secrets in SearchGuard Flex. So as always, I have my Elasticsearch instance up and running. And in addition, I also have an open LDAP server with a couple of demo users and groups, and it's running inside Docker. So let's first connect to our LDAP server and see what we got. So I use a tool called LDAP admin tool, which is just a UI for browsing any LDAP server. And as you can see, we have a couple of demo users and we also have a couple of demo groups. And for this demo, I'm going to use the LDAP HR employee user. And my goal is to connect SearchGuard Flex with my LDAP and use it for authentication and authorization. So let's first try to use this user with our auth info endpoint. Now let's try to log in with the LDAP HR employee users. And we're just using the auth info endpoint of SearchGuard. And as expected, the authentication failed because I haven't activated LDAP yet. So let's do that. So this is my SearchGuard auth YAML file. And as you can see here, I already prepared the respective entry for my LDAP server. So since this is not a tutorial regarding um, LDAP, I will just go over the uh, individual configuration items very quickly. First of all, I have to set my trusted CA because I'm using an encrypted connection to my LDAP server. And then I need to configure my bind DN and the password. And this is kind of the user that SearchGuard will use to connect to LDAP and to verify uh, usernames and credentials of other users. And as you can see here, I have my bind DN set to admin DC example DC com. And I hard coded the password here in my configuration file as well. So let's head over to our shell. And as before, I'm just using the sgctl update config command to update my configuration on my running cluster. So the configuration has been updated. And now let's see if we can log in with our LDAP user. And yes, it succeeded. So we can see login has succeeded. And we also have some backend roles and some search code roles. So this is all great. However, um, what annoys me is that I have to type in the password here in clear text in my configuration file. Maybe you want to manage your configuration files with Git or another version control system. So having secrets in there like passwords is not very good. So what can we do instead? Well, we can just replace this password um, with a variable. And in my case, I prefix it with var and I name it LDAP password. So the goal is that when I upload this configuration to SearchGuard, that SearchGuard will automatically replace this variable with the actual LDAP password. In SearchGuard before Flex, you could already use environment variables to do so, but you had to make sure that the environment variables were present on all nodes, and this could be sometimes a real pain. So in SearchGuard Flex, we added a configuration service, which you can use to store configuration variables or configuration values directly inside a protected index in SearchGuard Flex. In other words, you upload your secrets to a protected index in SearchGuard Flex. And whenever you change a configuration, SearchGuard will use this protected index and replace all the variables it finds in your configuration files. Well, let's try that. So we've changed now the password entry and provided a variable instead of the clear text password. So the first thing that you notice is if you want to upload this configuration to SearchGuard, the automatic validation of the configuration file tells you that, yes, there is a variable called LDAP password, but this password does not exist yet 
in the search card configuration service. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to add this variable to the configuration service. I'm going to use the search card control add variable command to upload my variable into the configuration service index. The syntax is pretty straightforward. The command is add var for add variable. Then I need to provide the configuration variable name. Then I have to provide a password and I can optionally choose to store this password encrypted in my configuration variables index. Okay, so we've successfully connected to the cluster and the variable has been created. So now let's try to upload the configuration file again. And this time it succeeds because it now found the LDAP password variable in the configuration index. So let's quickly check if also the login still works. And as you can see, I'm still able to log in with my LDAP HR employee user. Of course, I can also delete variables that have been uploaded. So for this, I just use the LDAP delete var command. And you can see it's been deleted successfully. You can use configuration variables in all search guard configuration files. And you can choose to store whatever you want in the configuration index. The most common candidates would be username, passwords, and other secrets. That's it for today. Thank you very much and bye-bye.